Mill Farms Lighthouses, Vitals Willy Gum, and Nestle's Bum Bum. In this video, we'll take a look at 10 weird candies you should never show your kids. Number 10. Hannah Montana Concert Candies Now, I'm sure you all remember the days when Miley Cyrus was a fresh-faced Disney starlet, and Hannah Montana was the biggest thing since sliced bread. Well, back in the day, if you were lucky enough to get tickets to one of her concerts, you could also get your hands on some of these special edition candies. Now, on the surface, these might not seem like the weirdest candies in the world. They were just her average fruit-flavored lollipops with Miley's face on the wrapper. But here's the thing. These candies were only available at her concerts. You couldn't buy them at stores, which made them a coveted collector's item for diehard fans. I think they were supposed to be a guitar, but I think it looks like something else. Yikes! Okay, moving on. Well, imagine being a kid who couldn't afford to go to the concert, but your best friend brings back some of these candies and won't share. Talk about feeling left out. Number 9. Uncle Ernie's Candy Ashes Now, before you start picturing yourself munching on something that looks like the remains of a cremated body, let's clarify. These candies don't actually contain real ashes. That would be just too much even for me. It's not entirely clear why anyone would want to eat something that looks like it belonged in a funeral home, but apparently some people find these candies to be a real treat. Maybe they enjoy the taste of black licorice, or maybe they just enjoy the novelty of eating something that looks so bizarre. We have to wonder though, who is Uncle Ernie? And why did he think it was a good idea to create candy that looks like the remains of a loved one? Was he a funeral director who decided to branch out into the candy business? Or did he simply enjoy freaking people out? We may never know the answers to these questions. Number 8. Fruity Farts Candies Leaf Alright, let's just address the elephant in the room. Yes, these candies are named after gas, but fear not, these candies won't actually make you let one rip. Instead, they promise to deliver fresh farts in every bag. Um, thanks, but no thanks. So, what exactly do these candies taste like? Well, according to Leaf, they come in a variety of fruity flavors like strawberry, raspberry, and apple. But we have to wonder who exactly is the target market for these candies? Kids? Adults? I'm not sure. But here's the kicker. The packaging for these candies features a cartoon character with his buttocks spread apart, accompanied by the slogan, Let him rip! I couldn't make this stuff up if I tried. Now, I have to admit, I'm all for a good joke and some harmless fun. But we've got to wonder, are people actually buying these and sharing them with their friends? Either way, we have to give Leaf props for their creativity, if not their taste in marketing. But let's be real. If you're in the mood for something sweet, there are plenty of other options out there that won't leave you questioning your life choices. If you think these were weird, things are going to get weirder. Keep watching to see what's next. Number 7. Haribo Bummix Are you ready for the ultimate weird candy experience? Then look no further than the Haribo Bummix, the gummy candy that's shaped like, well, butts. Yeah, butts again. It's hard to imagine who would want to snack on something that resembles a body part typically reserved for the bathroom, but hey, I won't judge. The packaging for Bummix features a cartoon butt wearing a striped shirt and a sailor hat, which only adds to the bizarre factor. It's like the candy manufacturers knew they were creating something so out there, they had to lean into it to make it even more ridiculous. But perhaps the most concerning aspect of Bummix is the fact that they come in a mixed bag of flavors. That means you could be chowing down on a strawberry-flavored bum one minute and a grape-flavored one the next. Someone wake me up from this dream, please. And let's not forget the potential for awkward situations. Imagine passing around a bowl of bummix and trying to explain to your folks why you're offering them a candy butt. Number 6. Box of Boogers Hold on to your stomachs, folks, because we're about to talk about one of the weirdest candies out there, the infamous Box of Boogers. Yes, you heard that right, boogers, as in those pesky little things that your nose produces and you're always trying to get rid of. Now, you might be wondering, who in their right mind would ever want to eat something that looks like snot? Well, apparently, there are enough people out there who find the idea of popping a little green booger into their mouth downright hilarious. And who can blame them? After all, there's something oddly satisfying about grossing out your friends and family members. Imagine offering your coworker a box of boogers and watching their face contort in disgust. It's a small victory, but a victory nonetheless. Now, I've got to admit, the packaging is pretty clever. The boogers come in a small cardboard box that looks like a tissue dispenser. It's almost too cute to resist. Just be prepared for the strange looks and raised eyebrows that are sure to follow. Number 5. Camel Balls Ladies and gentlemen, get ready to have your taste buds tickled and your stomachs turned with our next weird candy, Camel Balls. Now, before you get all squeamish, 
let's just clarify that these candies are not made from actual camel balls. Whew. They're simply jawbreakers with a sour liquid center. But still, the name alone is enough to make you squirm. So why are they called camel balls, you ask? Well, according to the packaging, they're named after the way camels store water in their bodies, forming balls of liquid in their stomachs. I'm not sure how that's supposed to make us want to eat them, but okay. Some people might find the name and concept of camel balls hilarious, while others might be completely repulsed. But I have to give credit to the marketing team behind this one. They certainly know how to make a statement. I can only imagine the reactions of unsuspecting candy shoppers who stumble upon these balls of sourness in their local store. Do they dare try them, or do they run for the hills? Number 4. Spermies Hold on your hats, folks, because we're going to dive into the weird world of spermies. These little candies are shaped like tiny swimmers and come in a range of fruity flavors. But let's be real, the thought of munching on something that looks like it belongs in a fertility clinic is enough to make anyone's stomach turn. But believe it or not, spermies have actually gained a bit of a cult following. Some people swear by them, claiming they're the perfect treat for a bachelorette party or a naughty gag gift. But others can't even stomach the thought of putting something like that into their mouth. So what exactly do spermies taste like? According to some reviews, the flavors are actually pretty good. You can choose from grape, banana, green apple, orange, or strawberry. But let's be real, no matter how delicious they might be, it's hard to get past the fact that you're essentially eating something that looks like it belongs in a wrong type of bank. Number 3. Nestle's Bum Bum Ah, Nestle Bum Bum, the Brazilian candy that's making people all around the world do a double take. First off, let's start with the packaging. These candies come in a bright pink wrapper with a cartoon butt on the front. That's right, a cartoon butt. And not just any butt, but a butt that's wearing a thong bikini. If that doesn't scream weird candy, I don't know what does. But it's not just the packaging that's bizarre. These candies are actually shaped like little bums. Yep, you heard that right. Each candy looks like a tiny bud, complete with cheeks and a crack. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't usually associate bums with delicious treats. In fact, the last time I had anything resembling a bum in my mouth was, well, never. But apparently, these candies are a hit in Brazil. I can only imagine the awkwardness of offering someone a bum bum candy. Hey, want to try one of these delicious little butts? It's not a conversation I'm willing to have. And I can only imagine the looks on people's faces when they first see these candies. It's like, I'm sorry, did I accidentally stumble into the wrong kind of store? Starting now, things get even weirder. Keep watching until the end. Number 2. Willy Gum Hold on your hats, folks, because we're going to talk about one of the weirdest candies out there. Meet Willy Gum by Vital, a gummy candy that sounds like it's completely inappropriate. That's right, we're talking about peepees. Now, we're not sure who came up with the idea to turn a body part into a sweet treat, but open the packet and wait, it's like candy floss. Willy Gum comes in a variety of sizes and colors, from tiny little pink ones to big bold rainbow ones. And if you're feeling extra adventurous, you can even get your hands on some sour Willy Gum. This stuff is strange. It's literally like candy floss, but then you chew it and it turns right into gum. But I'm pretty sure these candies are meant to shock and disgust people more than anything else. And let's not forget about the name Willy Gum. It's almost like they didn't even try to come up with something clever. I can just imagine the brainstorming session that went down at Vital Headquarters. Employee 1, hey, I've got an idea for new candy. With an inappropriate name, people will love it. Employee 2, oh, I don't think that's a good idea. Employee 1, wait, wait, hear me out. We'll call it Willy Gum. Employee 2, genius. Number 1, Mill Farm Lighthouses. Hold on to your taste buds, folks, because we're about to take a deep dive into the weirdest candy ever created, Mill Farms Lighthouses. At first glance, you might think, oh, how cute. But let me tell you, these candies are anything but cute. In fact, they're downright disturbing. Let's start with the design. Whoever came up with the idea for these candies clearly didn't think things through. The so-called lighthouses, they don't look like lighthouses. They look like something else. Not sure these should be in the candy store. Yeah, you heard that right. What idea did they have when they thought these up? There's just no sugarcoating it. Surely no one would actually buy these candies, right? Wrong. They were actually sold in stores, and lots of people bought them. It's a wonder they didn't cause a mass panic in the candy aisle. These candies come in flavors like cherry, orange, and grapefruit. Who in their right mind would want to put a grapefruit-flavored, inappropriately shaped candy in their mouth? It's just wrong on so many levels. And to make matters worse, the texture of these candies is just plain. They're chewy and sticky, but not in a good way. 
It's like trying to chew a rubber band that's been sitting in the sun for too long. Duh! Enjoyed the video? Now watch this one.